During the 2018 season, under bright lights, the JL Man football team suited up without one of its allies. It came together in very little pieces for us. Center Zach Taylor went down during a summer practice. Trainers gave him ice, put him under a cold shower, before the then sophomore was taken to the hospital. Docs are cooling him down and then they ask us if they can intubate him and they can put him on a breathing machine. She's like, wait, he just had a little trouble with the heat. Zach had a heat stroke. His internal temperature, 106 degrees. Having a football player, you worry about concussions, you worry about broken bones, knees. Never in, hundred, in our lives did we ever think about heat stroke. After 12 days in the hospital, he was released. His parents, Greg and Maggie, found the Corey Stringer Institute in Connecticut. Doctors put Zach through a series of temperature controlled tests, and last month, they cleared him to play. The foundation says ice baths can save lives during a heat stroke every single time, and most can be found under $200. We want schools and we want states to um, mandate that those be available at practices and at games. In Zach's case, would have probably meant he did not go to the hospital. He would have returned to football in just a couple of days. And when they see him in his first game back Friday? I'm sure I'll cry. I'm about to cry now. Just, just a sense of pride in him and the rest of the team.